the Hornets tonight will be facing off against Saugus. We will take a break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the start of this first period here. The Hornets will be taking on the Saugus Sachem here tonight. We haven't been with you in a while. This is our first game that we've done uh, for a couple weeks now. Hornets have been on the road for a while. So it's nice to be home. And the puck is dropped, and we are ready to begin. Shield with it. Looking for his mate over there, Russell. Drops it off to Day. Tries to flick it out of the zone. Can't do it. Stays in. Shield gets clocked in the corner. And down goes number six from Saugus. That's Kay, their captain. Keep your eye out for him tonight. Potter takes it in the zone, takes the shot, deflected off of 20 from Saugus. Nice hit from behind the net from Potter. Potter always aggressive out there for the Hornets. Ananian was looking for Driscoll. Driscoll to the right, hits it back in, goes behind the net. Shot from Ananian and saved by goaltender Bacon for Saugus. He's off the left pad. Shot there from 17, Payne. Save this time on the right side. Slap shot from the point by 14, Collins. Keeps it in the zone. Collins again with a shot, rips it, and off the left pad again. Bacon being tested early for Saugus. Big hit, down goes. Number 14, Collins. Both teams will change it up on the offsides. Tonight's game is sponsored by John Norton, and we'd like to just say John has been an integral part of the sports in North Reading. We want to thank him for his many years of outstanding support. It takes folks like Mr. Norton to make these games possible, so if you are interested in sponsoring, you please contact Nick Face at nface at sportszone101.com. You may also contact Coach John Gilliotti. Back for the Hornets goes 13, Velotti. Velotti skating it around, drops it off to LaRoche. Chasing it down is number 24 for the Hornets. That was Driscoll. <laughs> off into the corner, Velotti with it. Looking for five, Driscoll. LaRoche gets clocked. LaRoche is a big kid, but certainly got hit right there. Saugus looks coming out like they're gonna hit, be physical tonight. Velotti behind the net. Banks it off the board and clears it down the other end. On his horse there is 27 Day. Saugus ends up getting back. Hornets will have to clear. Potter looking for it. Puck goes outside the blue line. Taking it back in was Day. Day looking for Potter. He gets tangled up. Potter hits it back into the left. Slammed right there by Potter. Potter coming in for the big hit and takes the Sachem from Saugus down. Driscoll with it. Driscoll had Payne out front. Shot goes behind. Payne went a little traffic. Shot from the point from Scheel. 
boom, Ananian with the big hit. It was touched, no icing. Number six, that's Kay from uh, Saugus, had the puck. He hits it back in, that's Kay again. McGrill finds the boards and ends up finding Driscoll. Driscoll needed a little bit of help. He was all by himself. It ends up going back into the Hornet zone. Looking for some more skating room there is 21. Maruo shot deflected to the left. Hornet trying to get it back to the point. Can't get it on the rush. Number 19 with the shot ends up going down the other end and the Hornets take it away. Little elbow there from 21. Shot, day, a little bit wide. Hornets keep it in. Potter out front, down goes day. Slap shot from the point goes out of bounds, out of play. We want to take this time to say that the North Reading Boosters is sponsoring an event, which is a magic show at North Reading High School. The event will take place on March 29th. For more information, please contact the North Reading Booster Club. Tonight's game is sponsored by John Norton. John has been an integral part of sports in North Reading, and we want to thank him for his many years of outstanding support. Good pressure there from Saugus. And down goes number six from Saugus. That was K. Velotti keeps it in, and now it's out. Those are good moves right there by Velotti. Having a skating, skating it back there. That's number six, Pelham. Pelham has some room to his left, room to work with. That's Velotti taking it back in. He gets hit hard at the boards. 8.26 to go in this first period. Hornets zero, Saugus zero. This is Nick Face broadcasting for North Reading Hockey. Shot. Hits it off the backboards. Trying to get it feeded across there to number 11. That was to Lemieux. Looks like Coach Gilliotti is trying to get um, all of his skaters that are dressed tonight. Little action. It's nice to see. Lenane with the save off of his right pad. Whistle up. Penalty coming up. Penalty at 7.48. See who they call it on. Take a shot in the box. Penalty on number seven for the Hornets. That's Shield. He'll go in the box for a minute 30. That face off has the puck go back down the other end. Oh, loose right there. Those are tricky sometimes. And he has to cover up and make the save. So the Horn is doing a nice job with clearing it and getting it down the other end. They'll take a face off. Face off will be by Maruo. Actually, face off by Driscoll. Driscoll with the face off, trying to keep it in. Number five, that's Driscoll. This is a chance for Saugus on a power play for the Sachem. Early opportunity here. And that's Kay shooting it back down the other end. Lenane comes out of the net, hits it behind. 
huge hit right there from 14, Collins. Heavy hitter right there. Day shot. That would be off of Bacon. Saga skates it back up. Trying to dump it over to 27, couldn't get it to him. And they clear it. No icing. Three seconds remain on the penalty for Schilly. And he's out of the box. Full strength for the Hornets. Potter gets tripped up. No penalty. Day to day. Today again. And have a day. That goal there scored by Nick Day. Puts the Hornets on top. one nothing. That was day to day, and he finally had a day out of it. Hornets get on the board here early, one nothing with 6.03 to go in this first period. Ananian gets tied up. Good pressure with Payne out front. Puck back in the corner. LaRoche tries to feed it to Payne. Hopefully he doesn't take any pain from it. And he gets it out. Saugus puts it back in, but they're forced to clear. LaRoche won't go the left way. He'll try the right way. And you're trying to use the boards for Ananian, and down goes LaRoche. LaRoche has taken a few big hits tonight. One of the bigger kids on the team. So when he goes down, you can really tell. Marulo trying to steal it. Schilly, fresh out of the box. Marulo trying to turn the Jets on. Puck trapped down on the left. Driscoll with it. He'll chase it down. Tried to drop it off front. Marullo was out there. Couldn't get a stick on it. Trying to drop it off to the right. Back to the point. Over to Russell. Finding Schilly. He'll rip the shot. That goes off to the right. Russell steps up. Keeps it in. Driscoll comes in with the body check. Dumps it to Schilly. Shot, and no whistle. Finally a whistle called, and stop a play. Both teams changing it up. Good pressure there from the Hornets. Came out aggressive, that whole tire group. Good credit for them. That face-off taken there by Kalos, Tyler Kalos. Coach Gilliotti using all of his guys tonight that are dressed. Everybody finding some place to play. It's always nice to see that. McGreal also helps you keep your team fresh when the, some of the games at the end of the season really count. Every game counts, but it gets a little bit more a little bit more interesting as the season dies down, which is in late February. Whistle down, we'll have an icing, we'll come back down the other end where Drisk, uh, that's a day, will take the face off. Potter, he goes down at the blue line. Collins has had a nice night so far. Big hits. And nice shots putting on net from the point. Day trying to find some skating room, trying to use his brother. Okay, keep it in. Collins, another shot. Ripped. Loose. 
And when I was just talking about how Collins has having a nice night. He puts a shot on net, fires it, and cleaning up the trash. Goes day again. So the Hornets go up 2 nothing now with 2.57 to go in the first period. Ananian will take the face off for the Hornets. Finally, with the drop of the puck. Falati rips it. Glove save from Bacon. Hornets coming out. Looking great so far. Ananian with a big hit. Hornets try to keep it alive. Can't. Defense will have to chase it back down. And down from the Sachem, number 22, he pops back up. They give credit to Potter for the goal. So a correction on that, Potter. Potter from Collins with the goal. So Jared Potter gets the goal for the Hornets, puts them up 2-0. Final minutes of the first period for the Hornets. Been a very, very aggressive, fun period for the Hornets. Certainly Coach Gilliotti and staff must be very happy with the way their team has played. Driscoll bumps into the boards. Trying to take it. Maruo. Driscoll with it this time. Trying to get it to the point. Shilly steps up. Banks it off the boards. They'll dump and chase. Good body hit from Driscoll. They keep it in. Russell with the shot. Another big hit from Schilly. Over to Schilly again. Keeps it in. Driscoll tries the backhander tap. Both Driscolls on this line. You have Patrick and Michael. Looks like they're separating Shane tonight. We have one minute to go in this first period. 2-0 Hornets. Final chance in this final minute. Offsides. And we'll take a break just for a sec. Why would they change up the lines? We just want to thank John Norton, who is sponsoring tonight's game. John has been an integral part of many sports teams in North Reading for many years. We want to thank him for his outstanding support. It's folks like John that help make these broadcasts possible. If you are interested in sponsoring a game, please contact Nick Face at nface at sportszone101.com. Once again, that's nface at sportszone101.com. If you are interested in sponsoring, Shot and a save by Bacon. It's a good shot from Day. They'll take another face off with 22 seconds to go in this first period. We have 10 seconds to go. Collins hits it off the boards, puts it back. McGreal and Collins fighting for it to get back. Shot. And that's going to close out our first period here tonight at Burbank Ice Arena. After the first period, the Hornets 2, Saugus 0. We'll be back in just a short moment while they do the ice. Once again, 2 nothing here at Burbank Ice Arena for the Hornets.
Welcome back to the start of the second period. In case you just joined us, Hornets 2, Saugus 0. And again, welcome back. Start for the second period. That's McGrill dropping it off into the, uh, actually he's dropping it behind the net. Day tries to get it out. McGrill with it. Gets it off to Day. Finds Potter on the breakaway shot and he goes in. He almost went in himself too on that. Potter second of the night. Gives the Hornets now three. Saugus zero. So Jared Potter having quite a game for the Hornets tonight. It's three nothing now. Ananian took the face off of the Hornets. LaRoche. Vladi has to skate back. Off to Payne. Payne doesn't have anybody with him though. Ananian had Payne. Saugus takes it out. Driscoll had to skate back. Puck trapped in the corner a little bit. Marullo takes it. Looking for Driscoll. Got some anxious fans in the crowd. And Bacon. Makes a save. Marula will take the face off for the Hornets. Drops it back off out front. Russell uses the backhand on the stick, keeps it alive, keeps it in. Driscoll skates it down hard. Goes to over to the right. 16s from Saugus, drops it back off into the zone. And they'll skate it back out. Driscoll was all alone, didn't have anybody out front. Hornets change it. Puck travels back down into the corner. Glove up means it's an icing. 12.34 to go here in the second period. The North Reading Boosters is sponsoring an event which is a magic show at North Reading High School. The event will take place on March 29th. For more information, please contact the North Reading Boosters Club. Tonight's game has been sponsored by John Norton. John has been an integral part of all sports in North Reading for many years. We thank him for his very generous support. If you are interested in sponsoring a game with the Hornets this hockey season, please contact Nick Face at nface at sportszone101.com. Once again, that's nface, N-F-A-C-E, at sportszone101.com. Shot from six. K goes back into the corner again. Finds Day. Day takes it back in. Shot off the glove and back to the corner. 
McKay again takes it in for Saugus, banks it off the glass. Puck gets stuck up in the netting. That's a whistle and it will be out of play. See how it's like that? I want to have it like that. All right, face off again for the Hornets. Filati takes it. They get the win on it. He hits it back in for the Hornets. No icing called. 11-18 to go in the second period. Hornets three, Saugus zero. Saugus steps up, takes the shot. Lenane on his toes. Shot and... Another shot for Saugus coming up. And the Hornets take it away, that's number six. Pelham, his shot goes off to the right. Hornets change it up. They'll have Driscoll, Payne, and now number five. That's the other Driscoll out for this next face-off. Sometimes it's difficult to see the numbers on the jerseys. Ananian's face-off goes back to Russell. He hits it off his right on the boards. Ananian with the hit, takes it away. Back over to Chile. Can't keep it in. Fired, Lenane. Had to look off to his right. Fired, and Lenane makes the catch. <laughs> Another face-off coming up for the Hornets with 9.54 to go in the second period. And waved off on that face-off was Maruo. Driscoll will take it, and he gets clobbered. Pops back up. Nice pass over to Driscoll. He rushes in, fires the shot. Nice save on the right. Pinball flipper on Bacon from Saugus. Nicely done, nice save. Now the big hit from taking on Marua, but he stays on his skates. There's a strong kid right there. McGrail tried to steal it. Stepping up, Day fired it. And what a setup that was. Throw the hats, that's a hat trick. Hat trick for Jared Potter. Hat trick for Potter. What a beautiful setup that was from Day. Day fired the shot and he was able to tap it in the back door over to Potter. Potter gets the hat trick. It's now 4 nothing Hornets. Outstanding performance from this line tonight. Outstanding. Off the boards. Yeah, Potter goes down, but Dave gets the shot, and the shot goes right into Bacon. Fired, and that shot was so hard that Kalos goes down. 
LaRoche behind the net. Looks like we'll have a hooking call on number eight, Herman. So he'll go to the box for Hook with 8.32 to go in this second period. Power play chance for the Saga Sachem. In case you just joined us, you've missed a lot. It's 4 nothing Hornets, and we aren't even halfway through the game. Off to K. K's shot from Saugus, and it goes right into the glove of Lenane. It's like a magnet. 109 remaining on the penalty. The Hornets are one for one on the night on the penalty kill. And down it goes to the other end. Again, no icing on this penalty. Bacon, the goalie for Saugus, hits it off to his left. Can't get it there, can't control it. Number eight from Saugus. He take it back in. Hornets looking to clear. And they'll do it here with Russell hitting it right off the boards. And uh, I think the official just had a little uh, snooze right there because he can't have an icing on that. On his snooze, they'll change it up. Seven twenty-nine to go in the second period. Hornets four, Saugus zero. Saugus coaches are irate right now. They were very upset about the offsides call. Shouldn't have been an offsides call on it. And flying right there went Collins. Penalty has expired. Hornets back on full strength. Fired off the glass. That had some speed on it. Puck goes back down into the corner. Hornets looking to clear. Definitely get a little more physical for Sargas after the coaches went off on the official. Sometimes lights a fire under your team. McGrill has some skating room. Can't get it out. Saugus keeps it in. Collins with it. Collins chance. He fires it out. But Payne goes down. Shot. Goes off to the right. McGrill gets hit. Payne gets hit. Off to Day. Almost went down for a trip. Oh, that's not offsides, huh? That was offsides, but they didn't call that. Day drops it into the middle. He's looking for his brother on that. Nick. Uh, no hooking on that, huh? And it will go back down the other end. A couple calls right now. The officials are not making, so hopefully that changes. 5.29 to go in the second period. Hornets four, Saga zero. Hornets 
Hornets faceoff will be taken. That was by Maruo. Fired, oh, can't get a handle on that puck. Driscoll with it, Driscoll all by himself, gets tangled up at the boards. Fires it back to his left at the point, looking to go across, he goes down. Driscoll tries to shovel past that over to LaRoche. Couldn't get it to him. Saugus takes a shot. That goes behind the boards. Vladi goes off to Driscoll. Driscoll was looking for Maruo. And Driscoll hits it back in. Hornets will clear and they will change. LaRoche hits it back in. Kalo shot off the pad on the left side from Bacon and a save. 4.32 to go in the second period. 4-0 Hornets. Back from Chili's loose shot and finally whistle blown. And we'll have another face off. And Kalos takes the face off, gets it back to Russell. Russell hits it off the boards and it goes behind to Kalos, who is positioned well behind the net. Another stick save from Bacon. One there and aggressive was Lemieux. Catch from the point from 27. Tried to keep it in, couldn't do it. Lemieux with some speed. He's trying to steal it from 26. Kalos. Puck goes out of the zone. They'll chase it down. Lenin bats it off. Russell, Russell trying to find Potter. Day had a nice shot, but it ends up going off of a defender from Saugus. Hornets will clear. They'll chase it back down. Potter gets hit. Collins skates it. Potter has to wait to carry it in. Looking for Day. Lenin gets back up on his feet. He was down, had a nice chance there for Saugus. Fired, save off the right padding from Lenin. He was just tested there a few times, keeping him loose. Potter, shot. Goes behind the glass. Another shot fired on net. Nobody there for the Hornets. Going down was 17 Payne. Hornets keep it in. Velotti. Off to uh, LaRoche. LaRoche finding Driscoll. Driscoll goes down again. Lenane using the glove. Had the glove save go over to Velotti, who gives it off to Driscoll, fires it back to Maruo off the back glass. He had both Driscolls behind the net. He tries to dump it to the point. Velotti's going to try and rip a shot off. He rips it off to his right. Marullo off to Driscoll, loose puck, and jumps on it. There is Bacon. 
108 to go in this second period. We're going to take this time to thank our sponsor, who is John Norton. John has been an integral part of sports in North Reading for many years, and we'd like to thank him for his many years of outstanding support. If you are interested in sponsoring a game like Mr. Norton has done tonight, please contact Nick Face. Once again, that's Nick Face at sportszone101.com. That's N Face at sportszone101.com. The North Reading Boosters is also sponsoring an event, which is a magic show at North Reading High School. This event will take place on March 29th. For more information, please contact the North Reading Boosters Club. Good pressure there again from the Hornets to close out the period. Schilly behind the net. Hits it off the netting, and a whistle is called, and it will be out of play. So a lot of different things coming up for the boosters. If you're interested in any of the things that they have going on, make sure you get in touch with them. Again, that magic show will be held on March 29th, and that'll be at North Reading High School. They hit from a grill. Final seconds remain in this second period. Another strong period for the Hornets. Potter trying to get it off today, and it goes in. How about that shovel pass? Potter started it from behind the net and got it off today to put it in. What an action there out front. This line has been absolutely dominant tonight. 5-0, Hornets, 5-0. And that will close out the second period. Hornets get three goals this period, and take a commanding 5-0 lead. We will be back in just a short while after they do the ice for the uh, third period. Once again, 5 nothing Hornets. Stay with us. Welcome back to the start of the third period. In case you just joined us, you've missed a lot. Hornets 5, Saugus 0. That's where we're at right now. Collins. Gets it off today. This period you may see Coach Gilliotti rest his first line a little bit with a 5-0 commanding lead. May give some other guys a chance that don't typically have that much skating time under their belt. Also keep, your, keep the legs fresh of some of the guys that have been you know, pretty much counted on every single game for the Hornets this season. Back to Day, shot. That went off to the right. Saugus drops it back in. McGrill goes to Potter. Potter hits it back to McGrill. McGrill goes to Collins. Saugus takes it. And diving on it for them. And a whistle. Lenane does make the save. They're going to give a penalty, it looks like, to McGreal for the Hornets. And this will be another power play for the Sachem. This will be their third chance this evening. They've been 0 for 2 so far. I'm not 100% sure why they called the penalty, but maybe it's to give Saugus a chance. I don't know. Could be a makeup call. They give him a minor for hooking at one for 130. A minute remains on the power play. Well, Saugus, not much of a power play for them, though. Yeah. 
LaRoche steps up, gets it off the boards, and it goes off to the left. Shot down the other end and then cleared effectively. Bacon comes out of the net for Sachem. And another one dropped back down the other end. 17 seconds remain on the penalty. Hornets are going to go three for three on the night on the penalty kill. And a save by Lenane. I almost spoke too soon. 12.31 to go in the third period. Hornets five, Saugus zero. Saugus Sachem. In the Middlesex League, you have the Winchester team, which is known as the Sachem as well. Shot, Lenane. Uses both pads, makes the save. 12, 22 left in this game. All right, we have a brief second. We'll take a chance to recognize our sponsor this evening. That's John Norton. In case many of you uh, probably know John, John has been an integral part of many different sports here in North Reading and been a staple of the community. We want to thank him for his many years of outstanding support, and we also want to thank him for sponsoring tonight's game. If you are interested in sponsoring a game this hockey season, please get in touch with either Coach Gilliotti or myself, Nick Face, at nface at sportszone101.com. There's many more games coming up, and we are looking for... Some other sponsors this season. So that would be great if anybody is interested in working on doing a game. Covered up and saved by Bacon. 11.31 now remaining in this contest. Fired from 19 from the Sachem. Right into the glove of Lenane. Story of tonight. Right into the glove of Bacon, rather. Bacon at, makes the nice save on it. Driscoll behind the net. K takes it in. Oh, that is a big hit. Collins looks to be okay. K went into Collins pretty hard. Worry about things like concussion. And there goes another one for them. Make it six. Pat Driscoll now with the goal for the Hornets. Six nothing. That was number 24 again. Pat Driscoll with the goal for the Hornets. And there, actually the Hornets are, have something in common with the Bruins. The Bruins in the last three games that they have Played. They've scored six goals. Now the Hornets score six goals. So something's in the air. Both teams scoring in bunches. Stepping up, Pelham. McGreal. Lenane comes out of the net. <laughs> 
LaRoche steps up. He skates it back in. Day shot, fired off of Bacon. Day, Potter, back to Day. There's a hat trick for Nick Day. I don't know if there's gonna be enough hats left in the place tonight, but that's pretty neat. Three, we have two people with hat tricks tonight. We got Potter and Nick Day. Amazing. And in comes Nick Ponty in net for Lenane. So Lenane closing out his night. No goals. Nice game for him once again. He gets a break. 8.58 now to go in this game. K for Saugus. Takes it out. Trying to drop it off the boards. Totally impressive night for the Hornets. Have to be feeling good about themselves after this one. Off the back boards, travel back down the other end, whistle, and it will be an icing. We'll come back down the other end. For Saugus in a game like this, you just want to go out and try your best. Try and put something in net. And Conti looks like he's going to change up sticks. And they're just going to keep the net open. How about that? Nice face-off win, down goes Driscoll. Fired, looking for the other Driscoll. Can't go in through the right side corner. Marullo fires, shot off of Bacon. Must have been at least 40 shots taken off of Bacon tonight. Dominant performance from the Hornets. McGrill keeps it in, but ends up going into the Saugus bench area will stop a play at 8.08. Seven nothing is the score. The scoreboard says six, but they want to be nice. Three goals tonight by Jared Potter and three goals from Nick Day. And then you throw in a Driscoll, and that gives you all the goals tonight. Pat Driscoll with the other goal. He's the, he's the misfit on the night. So once again, Jared Potter with three goals, Nick Day with three goals, and Pat Driscoll with one. Everybody on the Hornets team dressed has got a chance to play tonight. Kalos drives it back in. He goes down there. There's a crunch. LaRoche with the shot off the boards. LaRoche keeps it in. He'll change it up again. Sheil. Day enter for the Hornets. Fired. Give him four. He's got to save some for other games, though. You don't want him scoring too much. I don't think I've ever seen a performance like this before. Wow. Going upstairs on that. I think that shot was so hard and the net was 
the net looked like it was going to crash through the boards. Absolutely amazing here tonight. Four goals from Nick Day. I don't know how, I don't know what it's. And another save from Bacon. I don't know what you do with four goals. You don't throw a hat on four goals. Though the score is eight to nothing. Eight to nothing Hornets. Colin shot fired off to the to his right. Back from the point. McGreal rips it inside the net. Nine. This is incredible. At some point for Saugus, it's going to get embarrassing. You got to go out and skate as best you can. As difficult as it is in a game like this, you got to give them a. Ch you got to go out and try your best. Try your best. Until the whistle's down. Whistle's done and the game's over. You gotta try your best. Even if you just get a goal, it makes yourself feel a little bit better about yourself. Grill keeps it back in. Saugus brings it back up. Looking for Kay. And if the Pelham skates it back is Kalos looking for 11 Lemieux this time. Score is nine to nothing Hornets. Traveling back down the other end. Whistle and another icing comes up. We'll travel back down the other side. Hornets will keep the same group out, so won't the Sachem. Velati, shot. That goes off the left padding of Bacon. I'm not 100% sure actually if that is still Bacon. We'll say number 29. We believe it still is. Shot, save there from Ponte. Shot from 20, can't get it off. Gonna try it again, but can't do it with the nice smothering defense from the Hornets. Hornets have come out with a buzz kill tonight. This one will certainly sting for any opponent. Stepping up, Russell, he has some ice room. Gets it off to Payne. That's Shane Driscoll in the corner, number nine. Gets it off to Payne, or Nani in without front. Russell steps up, hits it off the boards. And the Hornets still keep it alive. Their effort certainly hasn't stopped, even with a high score in this contest tonight. Ponte makes the save. That goes deflecting into the corner. Marulo's trying to steal it. He's got his player trapped behind the boards. Driscoll already has one goal on the night. Trying to look for his second. Shilly. He puts a shot off that goes to Marulo. Marulo fired from the backhand looking for Driscoll. Marulo. 
Looking out front, nobody there. Schilly steps up, big hit, keeps it in. Back again, Maruo covering for Schilly at the point shot. Good save there from 29. And another shot fired from Maruo. He was looking for his goal tonight. Looking for double digits, the Hornets, right now. Don't say that often in hockey. Hornets skate it from behind. There's Russell. Saugus so changes it, so don't the Hornets. Whistle. I'm going to travel back down the other end. Again, we want to thank tonight's sponsor, who was John Norton, who has been an integral part of North Reading for many years in sports and in the community. We thank him for his generous support for us this game, as he was kind enough to sponsor this game here this evening. Certainly picked a good game, too. <laughs> And if you are interested in sponsoring a game this season, we have plenty more games left, and we do need your support and your help. Please contact Nick Face at nface, N-F-A-C-E, -E, at sportszone101.com. The North Reading Boosters is also sponsoring an event, which is a magic show at North Reading High School. The event will take place on March 29th. If you are interested in more information, please contact the North Reading Boosters Club and they'll gladly give you more details. Final minute of play. McGrail fires a shot. That goes off the right. Pinball flipper there of number 29 from Sargas. Spent a lot of action on these goalies. And there's another shot. Make that shot 120. Little exaggeration there. It's been a lot of shots though. The Hornets next game will be against Triton. That'll be at six o'clock Saturday night. We will be with you for that game. Forty seconds are remaining. Saugus so takes a shot. Ponty deflected it off to his right. And Payne tried to have a nice chance there. LaRoche with it. Big hit there. And off the pipes there. And that will do it for the Hornets. They close out a great victory here this evening. They win by the final score of nine to nothing. Tonight's star of the game goes to Nick Day with four goals this evening. Jared Potter provided three goals as well. We also had McGrill with one and Pat Driscoll with the other. We will see you once again on Saturday night when the Hornets take on Triton. That's at 6 o'clock. Please stay with us for our Sports Zone 101 star of the game coming up in just a moment. Once again, our final score this evening is the Hornets 9, Saugus 0. This is Nick Face signing off, and please stay with us for our post-game interview from our star of the game. We will see you soon. And we're here with Nick Day, our Sports Zone 101 star of the game. Four goals? You kidding me? Yeah, I know. We just came home. We played start to finish the whole line. I mean, our line collected seven goals. Couldn't have done it without Jared Potter and Thomas Day. Now, it's funny. The Bruins have had three games in a row. They scored six goals. When you look them on the board, you're like, what's going on? Uh, Was there just something that you guys felt before the game? I don't know. Yeah, we were talking about it in the locker room. Jared Potter just said, I, I got a real good feeling about this one. And... 
after the third, after the second period, we had five up on the board. We were all set. What was really nice about the game when you saw it, you saw your first line come out, and you guys are just dominant tonight. Was there a feeling before that hall started? Because it seemed like with your brother and everything and Jared, you guys just clicked from the start. Well, uh, coach came in the locker room and told us that we need we need more of the like intensity from the underclassmen. If they can't give it, have the seniors provide it. And I, we felt that as a challenge for us, like underclass, me being a sophomore and Jared being a junior, that we were going to come out and just show them what we got and give everything we got, have, leave it on the ice. Now you have an interesting roster. You have yourself and your brother that are together. You have the Driscolls, their whole trio that's out there. You have another couple guys that are also brothers as well. What's it like playing with your brother? Uh, I, love, I love playing with my brother. It's kind of like we got like telepathy out there. Like He'll be looking the other way across the ice and know exactly where I am. So you guys like playing together on the same line. It's like it's almost like you can trust him. If you pass it to him, you know he's gonna get the job done. Absolutely, like any brothers, you're gonna fight out there. Pra practice going at it, battling. You're fighting over who's scoring first and all that, though. He, yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't really care. All he's mad about is the win. Well, thanks, Nick. It was a great job tonight. We hope the performance continues on Saturday when you guys face Triton. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks again.